sir, good people. Liqueur and wine from the continent. Tear for the alcohol. Sie sind Quint. Da der Gudach mehr in. Attention, Soldier. Let me pass. I must see the chief of your village. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever could be so funny. Now, who would you be to seek an audience with the governor? I am Siora, daughter of Vladnir. My mother is Amal, the chief of our clan. I am here as an emissary of my people, and I must see your chief, your governor. So you are a princess, then? A what? Let her pass! Your Majesty, I shall present you to the Governor. Come. Princess, Majesty, you are most confusing. But thank you for your help. There you are, dear cousin. What is this? Who is this amazing person in your company? I am Siora, daughter of Vladnid, daughter of Meb. My mother is the Mal, the chief of our clan. I am honored to make your acquaintance, Siora. <gasps> this is incredible. You look so much alike, you could be related. If you would allow me, Princess, I would like to confer a mission to my cousin. You need to visit the governors of the bridge and Teleme to give them my formal regards, that sort of thing, but also to discover what they've managed to learn. They've been here much longer than we have. Perhaps they've made some inroads to finding a cure for the Malachor. Forgive me, Mal, but I have a request for you. My people needs your help. I thought we might discuss matters together at leisure, but please, speak your piece. The Lions, the Bridge Alliance and my people are at war. My mother has sent me to you in search of allies. I fear that without your help, our clan will suffer great horrors. We have already lost so many souls. Hmm. This seems a sensible request. You know, though, we cannot go to war with our neighbors. Perhaps there is a way to negotiate a ceasefire, the time to see things more clearly. Excellent idea. I would be completely lost without you. Go and parley with, um, the Queen, dear cousin. Try and put an end to confrontations for the time being. I will come with you. It will take more than one person to convince my mother to lay down our weapons. Perfect. Take Kurt along with you and anyone you feel useful. I've been told that the roads are not safe. Safe travels, dear cousin. And watch out for yourself. I wouldn't want anything bad to happen to you. <laughs>
Sade, do you have a moment? Thank you for coming. I know that you're very busy, but I need your help. I'm listening, sir. This island is vast, and we only know a tiny part of it. As you know, your uncle has asked me to draw maps to facilitate the merchant's travels. Alas, I'm slightly too old to be roaming the paths, setting up camps here and there. So I'd appreciate it if, as you travel, you mark the places you deem to be safe on your map. Very well. I will take care of it, Professor. Excellent. I knew I could count on you. Uh, one more thing. Do you remember that gigantic creature that you defeated in Serene? Uh, bringing a specimen to the city was obviously not a good idea. An accident was inevitable. But according to my sources, there are others of them on this island, and your uncle wishes to know more about them. I know that a scholar of the Alliance, Professor Serafedin, has also taken an interest in these creatures. I tried to contact him, but apparently he disappeared during an expedition to study them. Naturally, I cannot ask you to rummage through the entire island looking for him, but if you can find any trace of him, his studies on these giant creatures could be immensely useful. Very well. If I find anything out, I'll let you know. The road to knowledge is long and difficult, but this is the price of wisdom, Desade.
I need a bit of practice. I need a bit of practice. Hello, Your Excellency. What can I do for you? We've come to find you regarding the merchandise that Kurt was taking care of. Ah, the Commander's cargo, yes. I was told that had come in. And so he's got you working on this. Lucky Kurt. It helps to have friends in high places. Is everything in order? Alas, no. Our merchandise has been unloaded into one of those dock storehouses. They're well guarded. A little less at night, but in spite of that, we weren't able to get them back. Since these crates are registered in the ship's manifest, make an official request. The modification of the manifest might have fooled a quartermaster, but it won't fool the port authority. We'd have too many details to explain to them, and our commander would not like that. What? Is he waiting for us to bring them to him, then? No, of course not. But Kurt needs to find the right storehouse as well as a discreet way to get in. And he must also mark the crates that belong to us. Why is that? They're already marked with an inscription. Most of the men are illiterate. A colored mark will stick out for them to find, but they need to be quick about it. They won't have the time to decipher a name. I see. Well, let's see what we're able to do. Is there anything else? No, thank you. The ship's being used to move your contraband, and now you want to sneak into one of our warehouses. Kurt was given the order. If we want to help him, we don't have a choice. 
I don't like this. But, since I've been sacked, let's just say that this would be a little bit of revenge. How do we know in which of these buildings to find what we are looking for? I'm afraid we're going to have to take a look at all of them. That won't be necessary. My entire cargo has been placed in the warehouse closest to my ship. Menawi. Why are you dressed like this? Hello. I'm not one of your people. I'm the legate of the merchant congregation. A legate? Is that someone important? Indeed. I'm in charge of diplomatic relationships with other nations. So you'll be able to help me. My chief sent me to trade some items with your village. But there are these bod irony who do not want me to set up shop here. These what? Bod Irony, the Ironbacks, the warriors who protect this village. Every time I come, they take my items without giving me anything in exchange. Please, I don't understand how things work here. Very well, stay here. I'll try to clear this up. Adlo Redar on Olmenawi. May the earth always be sturdy under your footsteps. Tear for a day. Greetings. You look like someone who would know how to use a blade. If you're looking for the best steel, you're in the right place. Weapons, armors, ammunition, I have it all. And if you have a special request, my associates will be glad to make it for you. Great pleasure to... One armor that fits you like a glove. We'll make it for you. Such a pleasure to see. Have you seen it? Thank <laughs> you. 
Here are the crates we've been looking for. It appears that one of them has been broken. It's full of weapons. This is strange. I thought we armed the guards on the island. I wonder what the commander is up to. Never mind. Let's mark these crates and be gone from here. I need a bit of practice. Sir, good people. The cure and wine from the continent.
Hello, Your Excellency. We have found a way into the storehouse and we have marked all of the crates. Perfect. I shall ask my men to follow the same path. One of the crates was damaged. I was quite surprised by what I found in it. Really? To be honest with you, the commander never told me what was in them. I received the order to deliver them as soon as Kurt accomplished his mission without any further instructions. For what it's worth, I thank you for your help. And I hope you can accept this modest token for everything you've done. If you have another moment, Your Excellency, I would like to ask you for your help. We have a serious problem that I did not hear of until recently. A problem that concerns you closely. I'm listening. I was told that some of our soldiers have been extorting large sums of money from the town merchants under the pretext of financing their protection. Are you telling me that the Guard is extorting merchants in our city? Indeed. Some merchants have been assaulted, and one of them has even been found dead. I hope you don't intend to conceal this information. If my cousin learns of this... Oh no, certainly not, Your Excellency. We intend to punish the guilty party with the greatest severity. But the merchants refuse to give us the slightest testimony. The guard frightens them, and rightly so. We won't be able to put a stop to these crimes without outside help. <sighs> Count on me. I'll take care of it. I met an islander in the streets who was complaining to me about the guard's behavior. Really? It would seem that patrols have confiscated the goods he was hoping to sell several times. Oh, I see. Indeed, I've been told about this man. The problem, Your Excellency, is that our orders are strict. Merchants who do not have a patent ratified by the minister cannot sell their goods in the street. And since your islander doesn't have one, I doubt he even knows what it is, my men have no choice but to confiscate his knickknacks. I see. Thanks for clarifying that. I'll talk to the minister. Is there anything else? No, thank you. It's a great pleasure to see you again at the forge. What can I do for you? One armor that fits you like a... Oh. I'm currently investigating an extortion case involving the guard. Are you one of the merchants who has been threatened? Uh, no, not at all. I've never heard of this business. Someone must have lied to you. Really? Come on. If you want these guards to be arrested, you need to talk to me. I mean no offense, but you won't be able to do anything. 
and snitching don't end well. I want to hold on to my business and my life. How about some new armor, Your Excellency? I was told that someone found a merchant's body. Did you know him? Of course. The town isn't that big. We all know each other here. Poor Reno. We found his body on the street by the port. He was beaten to death. One of his associates half-heartedly took over the shop. Have the culprits been found? No. Listen. Nobody wants to talk about this. We don't want any trouble. It's been months since it happened. An investigation's not gonna bring him back. You are obviously a victim of these bandits. One of your people is dead. Yet you refuse to help me. Why? It's precisely because one of our people is dead. Now, you can either buy something or let me get back to work. Because I am not gonna say one more word about this case. The, the law of silence is at work. For Nobody saw anything. Blades, Nobody knows armor, anything. Armor, locks, custom pieces made to order. Sir, good people. Sire, I am pleased to welcome you to the best wine and spirit shop in Tierfredi. If you're looking for something to accompany a fine meal, or for a gift for someone, you've come to the right place. Thank you, but I'm not here for that. I'm conducting an investigation. Some merchants are being extorted by members of the guard. Uh, are you sure? It's probably just a nasty rumor. Someone must have misinformed you. Come now. I am the legate of the congregation. If guards threaten you, I could arrange protection for you. Threats? No. I assure you. I was told a merchant had been found dead. Really? Oh, I didn't know. No one told me about that. What was his name? Come on. Don't take me for a fool. You know very well who I'm talking about. I don't? Really? I don't. So... What sort of wine would you like to pair your food with? You need something strong when eating game. You're obviously terrified. Don't you think it's better to tell me everything? Listen, I've no desire to get into trouble. Please leave me. But if you don't help me, you will never be rid of these guards. I told you, I don't know what you're talking about. Sir, good people, the cure and wine from the continent. Are your boots worn through? Is your hat out of style? Does welcome? It's such a pleasure to see you again. Have you seen anything to your liking? What might I help you with? I'm conducting an investigation. Apparently, some merchants are being extorted by some members of the Guard. Really? That's... that's terrible, Your Excellency. As Legate, it is my duty to ensure the safety and well-being of the citizens of our town. So please, if you have any information... I... I don't know anything. Really? I have only been here for a few months. My partner, who ran the shop before me, had a very bad encounter. And you fear the same thing happening to you? This is what happens around here. So I prefer to hold my tongue and do what is expected of me. If you denounce them, we could end this and charge these men for their crime. I can't take that risk. There are so many of them. Also, I would not be able to name them. Now, 
I would like to get back to my work. What we need is the money to return. Do you understand? We are very... monitored. I have a plan to stop the culprits, but I'm going to need your help. The next time one of these guards comes to squeeze money out of you, you must ask for more time. The man will threaten you, of course, and he will certainly bring his accomplices. But when they come back in full force to make you pay for your audacity, we will be there to apprehend them. And if your plan fails, I'll end up like Renault. You don't understand. Are you not tired of giving them your share of the profits? And do you not want to avenge your partner? Poor Renault. He didn't deserve it. Perhaps you're right, and we need to act. I will do what you ask of me. But for God's sake, when they threaten me, intervene right away! Fear not. We will not let them harm you. When should they be returning? It's hard to predict. Given their habits, I would say... In two days, maybe? Perfect. I will not fail you. Thank you for your visit. See you soon. Come closer, good people. Liqueur and wine from the continent. Tear for the alcohol. Minister. Your Excellency, it is always an honor. How may I serve you? What exactly is your role here? I am tasked with advising Governor Constantine about business matters, and I make sure that all business contracts are established properly and are favorable to us. I am responsible for setting taxes on goods based on their value, among other things. It is an exciting job that requires the utmost care. Would you like anything else? I would like to talk to you about an islander who is trying to set up shop in our city. Since he doesn't have a patent, his wares get confiscated as soon as he receives them. And you want me to provide him with the said patent? I would be delighted to show you the procedure to follow so that we may study his request. You'll understand that we cannot give an authorization without having determined the value of the goods beforehand. We must determine the tax rate according to this value, determine the best emplacement for this business. In short, these things take time. A lot of time. I'm certain that my cousin will be delighted to hear that our relations with the natives are progressing in a significant way. And he will probably be very grateful to the minister who helped their first merchant to set up shop in our city. Indeed. I seem to recall reading a circular on the necessity of establishing good relations with the natives. We could accelerate things by leaving some formalities for later. I would think so too. Very well. In that case, here's the patent that will allow your protege to legally pursue his activity in the city. You should give him this copy. The other one will be kept in the archives. However, one of my representatives will visit his stall for the estimation and to determine the tax rate in accordance with the... Thanks a lot, Minister. Looking forward to seeing you again. Would you like anything else? 
That'll be all. Goodbye, Your Excellency. Happened. What is it? I was just bringing you the patent you needed to set up shop. The Bod Irony came back and they took my cousin away. He came to bring us animal pelts and new objects from the village. But the warriors came back. They took everything he was bringing me. And they also took him. Oh, I don't know what they will do with him. Please bring him back to me. I don't see why they would have arrested your cousin, but I'll try to find out. Hello, Your Excellency. What can I do for you? I've come to see you again to talk about the Islander merchant. I managed to obtain a license for him, but he informed me that while I was taking care of this, his cousin, who was making a delivery for him, was arrested. I'm sorry, Your Excellency. Especially considering you've managed to obtain an official authorization for him. I'm afraid my men ran out of patience when they saw this hunter making deliveries for the merchant again. They wanted to confiscate his cargo, but the lad resisted, and he was thrown in jail for disorderly conduct. If you want to set him free, that's where you must go. Sorry, again, Your Excellency. I should have known you'd managed to obtain the necessary license for your protégé and told the patrol. Is there anything else? No, thank you. can I do for you? I'm looking for a prisoner. A native who should have been brought here recently. You're a bit late. He was sent to fight in the arena. In the arena? So this man was judged? Who pronounced the sentence? Whoa there! Do you really think that we would organize a proper trial for a savage? He attacked some guards. He's lucky he won't gun down right there and then. At least in the arena, he has a chance of survival, since apparently, he's a hunter. This man was only defending the goods he was bringing to his cousin. And now he has to fight for his life. I have no hand in this. I'm not the one who made this decision. They brought him here, and then they took him away, that's all. What did you do with the goods he had with him? They got confiscated, put in the storeroom, like all the rest. Anything else? I must leave you.
This part of the establishment is reserved for regular customers who paid an entry fee. Sorry, but I can't let you in. In that case, allow me to pay the fee. We're delighted to have you as a regular customer, Your Excellency. Have fun. Good day, and welcome to the arena. Is this your first time? It is. Excellent. The crowd just loves to see new faces. So, are you ready to rise to the challenge? Or would you like a little reminder of the rules before jumping in? Unless, of course, you're just here to go over the basics and get in some practice. Could you explain the rules again? Certainly. Regular combats take place in groups. Two of your companions will fight at your side. In order to become a champion, you'll need to win the five challenges that become more and more difficult. Each challenge is broken down into three rounds. You can take a breather in between each one. But if you give up on a challenge, you'll need to start all over again from the beginning. Once a challenge has been completed, you can fire any of the rounds you've already won again just for the fun of it. I wish to fight alongside the island hunter that was captured. Really? You'd have to go in alone. Your friends will need to stay in the stands. Are you sure that this prisoner is worth risking your life for? This man has been the victim of terrible injustice. I cannot stand aside without doing anything. Oh, that's extremely noble of you. But it's just the sort of crazy idea that the crowd loves. <laughs> I have to warn you, though. If you want to fight now, you will lose your bonus in the running challenges. So, what will it be? Justice cannot wait. I'm ready to fight. Excellent. In that case, the arena awaits you. Show. You've won the affections of the crowd, and when the crowd makes a decision, it gets what it wants. You're free, prisoner. I owe you my life on Al-Manawi. 
Blessed be the winds that have blown you to my side. By what name should I address you? My name is Desarde. In fact, it's your cousin the merchant that sent me. Follow me. Let's go and find him. Menawi, I'm glad to see you again. Oi, Ven, I'm so glad to see you alive. Then you must thank this Onol Menawi. He fought to save me. Thank you. May the grass always be soft beneath your feet. Don't mention it. I also brought back your goods. May the trees always bear you fruit. We owe you a lot. You should go see Ulan. The chief of Vignamri, my village. He wants to be friends with the Renaigse. Since you are a legate, you could talk to him. 